In IronCAD 2016 product update 1, we have enhanced the unfold algorithm for sheet metal to be faster and handle more conditions. Uh, basically, the conditions it can handle are more of your traditional modeling commands or features that can be added to your sheet metal. In the past, most of your sheet metal geometry had to be added through the sheet metal catalog that has various things for forms and cutouts inside of here. Uh, you could also use the cut sheet metal operation that was found on the uh, sheet metal ribbon bar to alter your sheet metal to uh, basically properly unfold. And now we enhance it so you can actually use a lot more of the regular shapes. For example, if we dropped a uh, H block here to cut through our sheet metal, and notice I'm cutting through a stock, a bend, and another bend all in one action, uh, this is now supported with our new unfold, which this would not work in the previous version. You could also add things like uh, blend conditions if you wanted to select down to an edge. For example, here we can actually blend this edge with our traditional blend command uh, type of value if we want on this other side here as well. And this happens to be a, uh, a sketch bin on these corners here, so it's even more advanced on top of that. Um, I'm just for final asset, add another uh, shape here, make it a little bit smaller. Size this down. Make it a little bit smaller. It's a cutout across the spins, and we can also make a uh, copy of this to the other side. Use a mirror command to make that to the other side. And even if you wanted to use operations such as trimming commands, for example, if I drop a uh, another part out here, we just uh, drop a uh, part up here. Move it over a little bit so it affects uh, both of these, and maybe give it an angle. Pull it in a little bit so we see this cutting our geometry. And I'll maybe just uh, cut those pieces here just to, to show what we're doing here. Uh, basically, just using the trim command, where I can actually go in and say on our feature toolbar, I can use a trim command. I can say we want to trim our sheet metal part, which is the target part, and we can trim by the, the whole part or uh, element by element if we want. So we can select uh, these particular faces here that we want to trim and just select this is our base face. You can see that's the result of that we want. We go ahead and trim that and we can hide or suppress this uh, feature. We can see now that it's trimmed uh, using that part or rather sheet metal parts can be used. And now if we go ahead and unfold this, we will see that it's much faster to unfold and it actually handles all of these conditions that we created to give you a proper unfolded uh, sheet metal part. Along with all the bend lines and everything will also transfer properly to the drawing. So a nice enhancement to uh, the sheet metal to make it a lot faster and handle a lot more uh, uh, capabilities uh, with using the standard iron geometry to modify your sheet metal uh, geometry.